Now, in this part, we are going to learn how we can pass data from our route to our views. For example, in here, I will create two variables, one with the name, for example, tester, and another variable with the name of email and set it to tester at gmail.com. Now, I want to pass these two variables to my about as view and display it in here. So, let's see how we can do that. For that, we have multiple options. The first option that we have is with WITH. In here, first we have to specify the key of the variable. So, in our case, it would be name. And then after that, the values. So this will be the values. I am going to send my variable name. Now let's save. Then after that also, I want to send my email. So I will create another way. This time, I will call this email and I will send my email variable. Now, and about us in here to display that data i'm going to create two h2s in here so let's type h2s and close them the first will be the name and the second one will be the email so email now to display our variables in here we just have to type double curly brackets and close them then inside here, we have to type exactly what we wrote in here. So for this email, let's copy this and paste it in here with dollar sign. So you start with dollar sign and your key. Same thing let's do with the email. Let's copy this and let's create double curly brackets in here and paste it in here. Now let's save. Let's go to our browser. Let's go to about us, Heather. Now I got my name and email. Now let's go back to our web.php in here. So this is the first method using with. Another method, let's comment this out, is using a compact function. So let's type return view about us and after the name of your view, you will just type comma as a second parameter. Then in here, you will type compact. And this time, you will just type your variable names as an string. Then your second variable. Now let's save and let's go back to our browser in the view you will not change anything so let's refresh we got our name and email nothing has been changed in here now the third way that we can send our data to view is by array so let's type the return view and again about us now in the second parameter we will just create an array and in here we will type our key and value so the first one will be the name so we will type name and the key is our name variable same thing for the email so let's type email and the key is our email now let's close this save everything let's go back to our browser refresh still we got our name and our email so these are the ways that we can send data to from our routes to our view. Now let's see how we can send data using this route because in here we are not using any callback function. So for the easiest way to send data in here is to create an array similar like this. So let's copy this from here and paste it here. Now let's change the name to our name. For example, 
tester in here and the email also. So let's type tester at gmail.com. Now let's save. Let's go to this view and let's print them in here. Actually, it's easier. Let's copy them from here. Let's copy and paste them in here. Save. Now let's go to the browser and instead of about us, let's go to contact us. Okay. We got our name and also we got our email. Another thing that I want to mention is to how we can fetch the route parameters in our view. So first of all, let's see in our this kind of routes. So let's pass two parameters in here. The first one will be the name and the second one will be for example id now let's comment this board okay so for name and id first of all we have to add them inside our call parameters of our callback function so it will be name and id now to, then you will type return view and this time Again, we can use one of these methods that we used previously. So let's do about us and I will use compact and I will pass the name and ID. Now let's save. Now let's go to our browser and to in about us. Okay, let's pass our parameters. So the name would be test and the email or the ID let's type the ID for enter okay it's ID we have changed the email to ID so let's change it also here ID and this one also ID save let's go back refresh now we got our name and ID and if I change it to something else this one also to something else enter we got both of them. Now, let's see how we can get the route parameters from this route. So in here, let's send two parameters. For example, let's send name and ID also. So let's and delete these from here. We, right now, we don't need them. Now, let's go to the contacts view and in here let's change it to id so because we are not using any callback function here we are directly returning the view with the parameters i cannot get the parameters like this for that let's delete this one and that double curly bracket so these are the laravel way to echo something or to display a variable now let's type in here the waste function then the variable name which is the name so let's put it here then also for the id as we will do same thing we will type the quiz and the id is the same that we wrote here so paste it here save now let's go to browser, let's go to contact us, enter, now we got our name and ID, if I change them, enter, we get the new name and ID, so this is, these are the ways that we can send data from the route to our view even we can send our parameters and display them inside our view